Good evening, my little nerds. I am Dr. Shreen Idris, a cosmetic dermatologist. I am back in New York City, and I am going to walk you guys through my nighttime take off the day with me, ugh, skincare routine with all of you, and how to transition from summer skin to fall. So let's go. I am going to brush my teeth because that is what I do first. So, all right, I have random paper towel. Don't ask me, I need to put this down. It's been a busy time. I've been finishing up the construction of my office and I have not had time to do laundry as much as I used to do. And I used to wash my little washcloth every other day in my bathroom. Let's just say I've fallen behind and I've put a roll of paper towel instead so I can see what I wash off my face at the end of the day after using a micellar water and a cleanser. Let's jump in to taking the makeup off. So I still wear sunscreen every single day. And this is a nighttime routine. This is a take the day off routine. But because I wear sunscreen every day and now I'm wearing makeup again because I started seeing patients again and I'm wearing a mask all day because I'm in people's faces all day, I definitely need to make sure that I get it all off, all of the crud, all of the buildup, all of the gunk, etc. So I have yet to find a cleanser that I think does the double duty of taking off the makeup, taking off the day and then washing your face without over stripping your skin. So I like to do a little bit of both, where I use my cellar water to take off the makeup and take off that first layer. And then this is what I call a double cleanse. I then use my cleanser to wash my face. Now, if you don't have my cellar water, you can cleanse twice with your cleanser. I still think that is equally as effective as a traditional double cleanse, which usually entails an oil-based cleanser and then a regular cleanser. I do not like this one by Garmi. Sorry. Um, get on me, people. It just, it's not great. So while my little son took a dump in his pampers, I noticed that I had Mustela next to his changing table. And this is actually, as you can see, my cellar water. So I'm going to do something that I've never done before. I'm going to use the micellar water that I use on my little son's tushy tush on my face. So I also was gifted a year ago these very luxurious cotton pads, which are extremely wasteful, but I'm going to finish them because they were gifted by Clé de Peau. They are no joke, so soft. It's like, I never give these to anybody because I do use them for special occasions like filming this video for you. It is called Le Coton, the cotton. It's, um, I wonder what the thread count is on this one. It's very nice. We're going to try the baby tushy tush micellar water on my face. I want to see how much, I don't have that much makeup, but I always have my eyebrows and my mascara left at the end of the day. I mean, it's gentle for a baby's butt. It should be gentle enough for a face. I don't think it's great. I'm not that impressed. I still think the Bioderma one is the best one. This is one side. And the lighting is just not great in this bathroom. Can you see? I wonder if it's better if I come here. Then I'm not over my toilet. This is a terrible micellar water. I mean, I would not recommend using Mustela's baby micellar water for your face. It's just smudging around my makeup without doing anything. So I actually never thought I was gonna say this. I'm going to use the Garnier one to the rescue. Okay, let's see, because I just said I did not like it and I cannot find my Bioderma one. I will say I do not like it compared to Bioderma. I still stand by that, but I think it's gonna be, this is just better than Mustela. I am not gonna be using Mustela's micellar water on my kid's tush anymore because God knows the gunk it leaves behind. I mean, for real, it says here, no rinse cleansing water for the diaper area. 
If that's the makeup it leaves behind, I'm disgusted at what it's potentially left behind. Oh God, I don't wanna think about it. Guys, this is around $16. I'm surprised. The gun is around 10. I would pick this over this for your baby's tush. So if you're looking for a non-rinse water cleaning solution for your baby's tushy tushes, go for this guy. Would I pick this on a normal day for my face when I'm taking off my makeup and my skincare? No, because I don't think it works as well on its own without as the Bioderma one. So in rank order, Bioderma, Garnier, and then far at the end is Mustela's. Mm -mm, not worth it. Now we are going into a much drier season. We are entering into fall. So the temperatures are beginning to dip. It's getting a tiny bit colder. We're not putting on the ACs as much. And so our skin is going to get a little bit drier. I have already developed a windburn on the top part of my lip. So we know that things are shifting. I recommend when the seasons change, if you are somebody who has dry skin, or if you're on the cusp of dry skin, to switch your cleanser to something that's a little bit creamier, just to help yourself. Normally, I don't use a cream-based cleanser. I don't actually love them because I don't feel like they take everything off, but I recently discovered this brand um, by Laboratoire Gabriel Cousion in Paris. It is a French one. It is a face wash cream makeup remover, and I wanted to try it and I've been impressed at the fact that I do think it does take off a lot of the makeup and it leaves your skin feeling supple and not overly tight. I'm curious what you guys like. Please leave a comment below when it comes to a face wash or cleanser, if you'd like cream, gel, or foam. I'm curious, but I'm gonna do this one for you guys to show you. So let's open it. As you can see, it is extremely creamy. We're going to wash our face. It doesn't really lather that much. I draw my eyebrows in, it's, they're not real. <laughs> this is what I look like. But yeah, now that I clean my eyes, I can't open my eyes for you. So, uh, where's the water? Oh, there it is. Ta-da! I'm going to reuse that wet paper towel so I don't waste. And makeup is off. Makeup is off. I also hate when the water drips down. <sighs> so many things that are bothering me when you're sleep deprived. So I've been building out my office. It's been nonstop. I was supposed to open August 30th officially. I pushed it back to September 13th. I wasn't able to get into my space September 13th, so I had to find a temporary space. Last week, I converted it into an office in less than four days to accommodate for patients this week because I refused to cancel them. So I've been a little bit sleep deprived, hence why I look like this. But when life throws you lemons, you make a spiked lemonade. <laughs> All right, so now that I've washed my face, I think it's also important that once you're going into fall, as your skin does get drier, this is where you want to exfoliate a tiny bit more. In the summertime, I probably exfoliate twice a week. In the wintertime, that goes up to three, maybe four times a week because those superficial dead skin cells just adds up a layer of crud on your face that makes you look more dull and lackluster. I have discovered this one by La Roche-Posay. It is their glycolic B5. The reason I like this one for fall time is threefold. Number one, glycolic acid, I think is one of the best exfoliating acids if you're looking for a rejuvenating, glowy, instant gratification look, it's gonna make your skin glow. Number two, it is fortified with panthenol, which is vitamin B5, which is a stronger humectant. So even though it is an exfoliating chemical, it's also gonna help to hydrate your skin. And number three, my biggest issue, especially post-summer, the heat and everything involved with summertime, 
just it's not my favorite time of the year i get some residual melasma that occasionally creeps up and then disappears and so i'm always looking for things that minimize hyperpigmentation and this has trianoxanic acid as well as kojic acid in it comes in unfortunately for this a serum dropper at least they put it separately but it's extra wastage because honestly they should have just had this come in a pump i have tried to stick my niod decium head on it but it did not stick so we're going to use the dropper really dislike droppers this is the consistency it's a little bit more yellow in color it does stink does not smell nice at all do you hear a baby crying Normally, I do my skincare routine when I come home to allow the product to really sit on my face and so I don't get lazy. It is currently 11.30 p.m. I've been up since 5.45 a.m. Um, I had to take care of the kids when I got home and then I got distracted with work stuff. So this is why I'm doing this now. Um, but I try to make it a point to do it when I first come home, but today's an exception. So yeah, it just gives you an instant glow I love it. I think it is great. Um, it does feel a little bit sticky and tacky. I don't mind it for the fall. Summertime, I would not like this feeling because everything is way too humid. Wintertime, not bad. Now that we have applied our exfoliating acid on our face, our skin is prepped, fresh, and ready to go. So what are we going to do next? Again, I'm targeting hyperpigmentation, story of my life. I think when you have an even skin tone, it can make the biggest and the biggest impact of a difference. I have been working on a very special something. I'm going to share with you guys a sneak peek at what it does right away. I'm not gonna show you the packaging. I will show you guys the consistency of it. But this is my serum. It is a milky white serum that is targeting a lot of yumminess on your skin. I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly all the goodies involved, but I love it. Yeah. And it only gets better with time. It only gets better with time. Um, so that was just a completely shameless plug because you, it's useless for you right now as you cannot get it, purchase it, or even find it at the moment. It is literally just in my room. So that is that. Um, to help you guys out, what can you do to target pigmentation? There are several things. Differin has an over-the-counter 2% hydroquinone spot corrector. It is going to be pulled probably off the shelves sometime soon if the EWG and all those people get their way. Um, it is one of those treatments that I think can make the biggest difference if you have melasma, but it's extremely tricky to formulate a product with hydroquinone these days over the counter. So get it while you can. It's not as good as 4%, but it's better than nothing if you cannot get your hands on a 4% prescription of hydroquinone. So this one is by different, it's the 2%. And then I like to basically and I would not recommend this for beginners. This is for somebody who has been used to using a retinol or a retinoid. I use a retinol. Currently, I'm going to use the A313. It is lighter than a prescription strength retinoid, obviously. I like it because I like the base of it. And I find that the delivery mechanism of this gives you much stronger effects than the lightest version of a retinol that you can find over the counter in the US. It does tingle a bit, so I make sure never to apply it here. I actually focus it more right here, right here where you need it the most around your eyes. So I sometimes substitute this as an eye cream. And then given that I'm wearing the masks all day, I put it on my nose to make sure that no blackheads are building up. So right now that is where I am choosing to use it. And then we moisturize. So as we go into the colder months, we can swap our more lightweight moisturizers for things that are a little bit thicker in density and consistency. Um, you can do several different things. When it's really dry, I'll use Walida. 
especially here, do not do that if you have sensitive skin. I really like this other French brand, Homeoplasmine. It is also of similar in consistency to a very thick Vaseline. So I can even then, if I really wanted to seal this guy in, I could right under my eyes, but I wouldn't put it anywhere else right now because I'm wearing a mask and these days it's very different than what it normally is when you don't wear a mask. It gets humid and because of that you can get a lot of irritations around here. So I don't necessarily need that as much. And because it's only fall and not winter yet, I'm going to switch to the Avino and I just rebought this again for like the third time. And Avino does not care that I keep promoting their product. That's okay, because I still like it. Oops. It is the Calm and Restore Avino Gel Oat Moisturizer. It's just beautiful. Just, it's like, I love this. I hate jars. I hate jars, actually. But I love that. I don't know why I just re-put it back in the jar. Um, but yeah. The last trick, eyebrows. Grande brow, I take this baby at the end after washing my face. I use a little bit of Latisse, which is actually geared for glaucoma or eyelashes. And I put this here. I do not use the Latisse on my eyelashes. And then I do that. Don't over pluck your eyebrows in your youth. Your older self will hate you for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I was a little bit all over the place. I apologize as my brain is very foggy at the moment and I only slept three hours or four hours last night. But I thought to myself, I promised you guys a video every Saturday and I am always gonna try to deliver. So wishing you nerds the happiest Saturday and I will see you guys next week. If you have any suggestions for videos that you wanna see, please leave your comments below. Do not forget to like, subscribe and yeah, <laughs> enjoy your weekend. I will catch you guys soon.